Hey everybody, today I'm going to review my first game key. This was made by JX Pacific for some of their plug and plays. This is a Disney one, so some of the plug and plays had this DY on the packaging to let you know it would work with it. This is one of them. It's one I just recently reviewed. It's a Disney TV Friends plug and play. There is also a red Disney one that came out before it that can also work, but only if they have the game key cartridge slot. They will have this little icon in the upper corner and there's a cartridge slot. So we take this and we're going to put it in this way so that the little TV games icon is facing upward. It takes a little force to put it in. If you turn on the switch, it should light up to let you know that it's it's active. So let's go ahead and plug this into my TV and see how the games play. Let's go to the games. This game key was published by Jack Specific and carries a copyright year of 2005 and it contains two games. The first game is Disney Sports Bowling. From the menu screen, you could select a single player game, multiplayer game, see the instructions, or erase the high scores. You could play a practice game, an exhibition game, or a tournament game. Selectable characters include Donald, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Pete, Daisy, Minnie, and Goofy. I guess bowling is below Mickey's pay grade. After selecting your character, you pick a skill, either amateur or professional, and for the controls, you use the joystick to place yourself. Press the big button to set yourself, a second time to stop the arrow for your aim, a third time to stop the arrow to select your power, the higher on the gauge, the more powerful it is, and a fourth and final time to stop it in the blue area on the bottom if playing the professional skill level. If it goes past the blue, you will foul. Once you throw the ball, you can add spin by pressing left or right on the joystick, but it is possible to spin too much. When playing against characters, you alternate turns for one game. If you win in a tournament, you move further in the bracket, starting a new match. You must play the tournament in a single sitting. If you get a high score, you can save it to the system after the game is over. The second game is Goofy's Underwater Adventure. This is a match three bubble game similar to Bust a Move for one player only. From the game menu, you can pick a level by level arcade mode, a non-stop endurance mode, a practice level, choose your difficulty between normal and easy, see the instructions or erase the high scores. You move Goofy on the bottom using left and right on the joystick and press the big button to blow a bubble. If left empty, it will turn black or if it catches a fish, it will become that fish's color. You also control the bubble's movement as it ascends, including pressing up to make it faster and more narrow with the ability to squeeze into tight gaps. When your bubble makes a match three or greater, the matching bubbles burst, sometimes bursting other bubbles hanging on to them. There is also special bubbles that when exploded can give you extra time, pop all the bubbles of a certain color, or burst any bubbles touching them. If you run out of time, or if a hanging bubble passes the bottom barrier, you lose, although you get limited continues in the arcade mode. If you get a high score, you can enter your name to save it on a high score table. Graphically speaking, these are solid looking 16-bit style games. It's a little thing, but I like how you can see the reflection of your character's face in the bowling ball when you're holding it. Sound and music wise, everything is okay, but a bit generic and repetitive. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating it for release a day, although it does seem a little undisney like to capture fish in bubbles. On eBay, this game key goes for about $10 loose, including shipping, or about $20 to $30 with one of the Disney plug and play joysticks. So, what do I think of this game key? Honestly, I like these two games better than all five games on the Disney Friends plug and play that I played this on. I'm a Bust a Move fan, and while Goofy's game isn't nearly as good, having to time your bubble blow takes away from the game, it still offers some okay puzzle action. The bowling game, however, is the highlight. With a little practice, I was able to improve my score and get mostly strikes or spares. It's not the best bowling game I've ever played, but it's good enough to pass the time. Overall, while they may not be worth going out of your way for, they are worth playing if you have the chance. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. At this time, I'd like to thank Jeff Y for his generous support on Patreon. If you think these videos give at least a dollar's worth per month of information and entertainment, please consider joining my supporters at patreon.com slash gamer. Not only will you help keep the show going, but you'll also gain access to some exclusive content. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosework Gamer. Take care, everybody.